Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's adventure in Japan, where we explore Nagoya, a city that beautifully blends history, innovation, and mouth-watering food, and Inuyama, a charming town filled with history, culture, and breathtaking views. My journey began with a smooth flight on Singapore Airlines, which brought me straight to Chubu Central International Airport. From there, I checked into Hotel Richmond Nagoya, a fantastic place to stay, comfortable, central, and perfect for exploring the city. Ready to discover why Nagoya deserves a spot on your travel list? Let's dive in. Our first stop is Nagoya Castle, a stunning fortress built in 1612 by Tokugawa Ieyasu, one of Japan's most powerful shoguns. The castle is famous for its golden shachihoko, mystical creatures with the body of a fish and the head of a tiger. These were believed to protect the castle from fire. Inside, there's a fascinating museum showcasing artifacts and the castle's history, including its reconstruction after World War II. Don't miss the Honmaru Palace where the intricate woodwork and gold leaf sliding doors will transport you to Japan's feudal past. It's a must-see for history lovers. Next up is the Nagoya City Science Museum, a paradise for curious minds of all ages. The museum houses one of the world's largest planetariums, the silver sphere you can't miss from the outside. Inside, you'll find hands-on exhibits about everything from electricity to weather patterns. Also, Canon Temple is a peaceful escape amidst the city's hustle. This centuries-old Buddhist temple is dedicated to Canon, the goddess of mercy. It's a great place to soak in some local culture and even catch a festival if you're lucky. Just steps away is the lively Osu shopping street a maze of shops, eateries, and quirky finds. One of my favourite spots here is a store called Alice on Wednesday, where everything is inspired by Alice in Wonderland. Think whimsical tea sets, jewellery, and decor, a treasure trove for fans of the classic tale. For a taste of modern Nagoya, head to Ho Oasis 21. This futuristic complex has a rooftop spaceship aqua filled with water, offering a unique spot to relax and enjoy city views. Nearby is the Nagoya TV Tower, Japan's oldest TV tower. Built in 1954, it offers stunning panoramic views from its observation deck. Did you know Nagoya is the birthplace of Toyota? 
at the Toyota Commemorative Museum of Industry and Technology, you learn how this global giant started as a textile company before revolutionising the auto industry. The interactive exhibits and working machinery displays are fascinating. For a change of pace, visit Noritaki Garden, a peaceful retreat dedicated to the artistry of Noritaki ceramics. Stroll through the garden, explore the museum, and even try your hand at making pottery. It's a perfect blend of nature and creativity. Now let's talk about food. Nagoya is a culinary paradise. First, try Hitsuma Bushi, Nagoya's famous grilled eel dish. Head to Atsuta Horaiken, where you can enjoy it three ways. Plain, with condiments, or as a rice soup. Nagoya-style miso udon is another must try. With its rich savoury broth, it's perfect comfort food. Maruya Honten is a great spot to savour this local favourite. And if you're a meat lover, you can't miss Hida beef. The marbling is incredible and the flavour is out of this world. I found a fantastic restaurant in the sake district where they grilled it to perfection. Each bite melted in my mouth. From Nagoya, I hopped onto the Meitetsu line bound for Inuyama. It's a smooth and scenic ride that takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Once I arrived at Inuyama Station, the charm of this town was already evident. From the station, it's just a 10 to 15 minute walk to the heart of Inuyama Castle Town. The route is well marked and you'll start noticing quill signs and decorations pointing you in the right direction. 
Inuyama Castle Town is like stepping back in time. The streets are lined with traditional wooden shops, vibrant banners, and friendly locals. Many shops sell handmade crafts, Japanese snacks, and souvenirs, making it the perfect spot to browse or pick up something unique. For foodies, this place is a paradise. Try the famous Gohei Mochi, a sweet and savoury rice cake grilled on sticks, or sample dango, skewered rice dumplings coated in a soy glaze. There are also cafes where you can sip matcha while soaking in the nostalgic atmosphere. Aside from shopping and eating, you can also try traditional activities like making your own matcha or participating in craft workshops. The whole street feels alive yet wonderfully peaceful. At the end of the castle town, you'll find the path leading to Sanko Inari Shrine and Haritsuta Shrine. Sanko Inari Shrine is famous for its vibrant red Tori gates, which create a mesmerizing tunnel as you walk through them. These gates are often adorned with wishes and prayers written on wooden plaques. Harisuna Shrine, located nearby, has its own tranquil vibe with ancient trees and smaller shrines scattered around. Both places have a rich history as spiritual sites protecting Inuyama Castle and the surrounding town. Visitors often come here to pray for good fortune or to simply enjoy the serene ambience. And now, the highlight of the trip, Inuyama Castle. Perched on a hill overlooking the Kiso River, this is one of Japan's oldest original castles dating back to 1537. Its history is filled with tales of samurai battles and strategic importance during the Sengoku period. The castle has multiple floors, each offering a glimpse into its history. You'll find displays of armour, weapons and detailed explanations of the castle's architecture and its defensive features. As you climb higher, the floors get narrower, but the journey is worth it. At the very top, step out onto the observation deck for panoramic views. You can see the entire town, the Kiso River winding through the valley, and the distant mountains. It's truly breathtaking. On a clear day, you might even catch a glimpse of Mount Ontake. Nagoya and Inuyama each offer something truly special. Nagoya dazzles with its vibrant city life, fascinating museums and delicious cuisine, while Inuyama charms with its historical streets, sacred shrines and the iconic Inuyama castle. Together, these two destinations showcase the perfect blend of modern and traditional Japan. Whether you're exploring the bustling energy of Nagoya or stepping back in time in the serene beauty of Inuyama, both cities promise unforgettable memories. 
Thank you for joining me on this journey and I hope you're inspired to visit these incredible places. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel adventures. See you in the next video.